At Lely High School, we find a math teacher who has used technology to overcome some of the social and peer challenges that face honor level students. Suzanne not only addresses the unique challenges facing these students, but she also reaches the varying grade levels and different learning styles in her classroom with great success. Students are set up in pairs and encouraged to work together. Then she utilizes the TI navigators with quick polls to further remove peer pressure and the results are increased comprehension and happy students. So equals Y minus 53. Then what he realized is he had to take out a two. We can't complete the square if we have a coefficient other than one. So we pulled out the two, that left him with x squared plus 10x, and then this is the blank that he's gonna fill in. I think that I always knew at some level that I wanted to be a teacher. My dad was a seventh grade science teacher for 30 years in Pennsylvania, and I loved going to his classroom, writing on the board, standing at the podium, pretending I was the teacher. And at home, I had my own classroom set up in the living room, and I used to teach my stuffed animals. And So playing school was just something that I did from an early age. I love the subject that I teach. I enjoy it, I get excited about it, and I try to pass on my enthusiasm to my students. I want them to understand that math is something that can be fun, that you do use um, in your everyday life, and I constantly try to point out to my students, even if you're not going to be using this particular subject, somebody out there in the real world is. If you want to do engineering, this is when you might use it. If you want to do architecture, this is when you might use it. So I really try to share my love of the subject with my students, get them excited about it, and realize that no matter what they do, they're going to be using the math in at least some of the pieces of the math that we learn. Uh, in their adult lives. I enjoy uh, having, you know, 45 minutes of class with Ms. Shabansky. She's got a, an amazing personality. She always makes math fun, which most teachers can't actually do. So, you know, I really enjoy spending, you know, th those 45 minutes every single day of the week. Ms. Shabansky challenges every student, and I've been challenged a couple times by her. And I, re I think it's uh, trigonometric equations. They were a little hard, and I would come in, I came in once at lunch to get help from Ms. Shapansky, and you know, throughout the class I would ask questions about the subject, and she would always make sure that I understood what I was having problems with. This teacher has earned the trust and appreciation of her students by using innovative ways to keep them challenged and making sure they know they have her full support as well as the support of their peers. Well, coming from a parent standpoint, I think the most important thing that I've seen from Ms. Shapansky is the communication that she has with the parents. I get texts from her and emails when there's a test coming up, and we're just, it's nice to have that interaction with her and knowing what's coming up for the kids and how to help prepare them from at home from as a parent. As far as technology, I believe that everything that she uses are tools for today's learning. I appreciate that she uses different um, tools to get the kids to learn in different ways. I think that she's a really hard worker. You know, I think that she takes time, you know, to help out students because that's what she loves. So I think that she's very well deserving of this award. Ms. Shapansky getting the Golden Apple Award. She is engaged with the parents as well as the students and it shows and she's nominated by people that are with her every day and I, I just think that's amazing. Ms. Shapansky, I am so glad that you've won this award and enjoy it because you really do deserve it. Congratulations. For, I have my students for 49 minutes uh, each day and for them to just sit there and watch me do something on the board can be very, very boring. So what I try to do is I try to get them involved. The first thing that they do when they come in is they have something to do. They have a problem to work on. It's a review of what we did yesterday or possibly a review of what we did last week. But they're doing something from the minute they walk in. And then we move into the homework and again, they're doing it. I, I ask for volunteers to put it on the board. So they're constantly getting a chance to show what they know to others. By providing the security of anonymity to her students and allowing them to ask questions in a non-threatening way, 
Suzanne has been able to dramatically increase comprehension of a difficult subject and make it something the students look forward to learning. Her lifelong passion for teaching inspires the next generation. For this, we are all thankful. Teaching at Lely is very, very special to me. I graduated from this high school and this was not an accident that I ended up here. I knew, even before I graduated from high school, that I wanted to come back here, that I was going to come back here and give back to the school that gave me so much. Lely is, uh, has a very special place in my heart and there's absolutely no place I would rather teach.